So, you're preparing a portfolio for Griffith? Well, we've pulled together a few things to help you on your way. Your portfolio should include visual notebooks, observational drawings, development work, and final pieces. We don't just want to see your completed work, but everything that led you there. Sketches, mood boards, colour and material experiments are all part of that process, so include as much as possible. Observational work is also key. Show us that you can study and analyse the shape, form and proportion of your chosen subject, both still life objects and people. Drawing from life is also crucial, not photos or magazines, we'll be able to tell. There is no limit in terms of the size of your portfolio, but bear in mind, if you don't include enough work, it's hard to determine your skill level, too much, and it becomes almost impossible to sift through. If you have work that's old or doesn't reflect your current ability, leave it out. Remember as well, how you present your portfolio can make a big difference to how it's received by the viewer. So make sure things are laid out well and labelled clearly. At Griffith, we don't ask you to follow a certain theme in your portfolio. You don't need to include work relating to the course you're applying for either. The most important thing that shines through in your portfolio is you. Show us your personality, your passion and your creativity. Your portfolio is a visual representation of yourself, so use this opportunity to show that off. We hold regular assessment days throughout the year. These start in February and run until August. We encourage candidates to attend one of these days in person, as it gives them the chance to meet the faculty, see the campus and ask questions about the course. If you can't attend one of our scheduled days, you can arrange to meet the faculty individually through our admissions office. All of the assessment days can be booked online via our website. On arrival at Griffith, you'll be taken to meet the faculty and drop off your portfolio. Whilst portfolios are being reviewed, you and your peers will be taken on a tour of the campus and shown all that Griffith has to offer. When that's finished, you'll rejoin the faculty and be able to ask questions. The good thing about Griffith College is that you can take your portfolio home with you that same day. If you don't pass first time around, the faculty give feedback and allow candidates to resubmit later in the year. If you can't resubmit or don't pass, we offer a number of pathway courses, including our one year certificate in art and design and other degree programmes that do not require a portfolio. So to sum it up, remember, include your development work, not just final pieces. Show us your creativity, drawing skills and personality Book your portfolio online and don't panic if you don't pass. There are always options. We look forward to seeing your portfolio soon.